It's time to play. Let's whoop crap data. The Dynamic Arrays Edition. Ahead of us is a six question quiz and we have to do this because the sport of cleansing data is brutal. The consequences are real and crap data is heartless. So we have these quizzes so that we stay up on our game, so that we stay strategic, so that we don't get into trouble when we go and cleanse our data. Are you ready for these six questions about dynamic arrays? Let's dive in. Question one. We've got this data about cities and nations, and there is an error in cell D2. The question is, what is the spill error in cell D2? The function cannot perform spills, illegal reference outside the workbook, not enough room for the result, or the source exceeds the maximum that can be filtered or sorted. Computer G, the answer please. Not enough room for the result. Let's have a look at that. I've got a formula here that's filtering for Japan. Let's change that to Peru. Okay, it pulled Lima. But now let's change it back to Japan. Just undo. All right. That blue line tells us, yeah, there isn't enough room. So if I do this. insert shift cells down automatically fills in the data no more spill error question two which functions can return multiple values sequence sort sort by count a v lookup if filter rand array count a or all of them. Computer G, the answer. All of them, yes. We did get seven new functions, but with the new calculation engine in Excel, even if can be a dynamic array. Let's look at that. So we've got information here about Halloween masks. I'm gonna make a simple if statement equals if. All of this is greater than 55, then too expensive. Otherwise, stay blank. Close parentheses. Uh, there we go. We didn't use one of the seven new functions. We used a plain old if, but took advantage of the calculation engine behind Excel. Now we can see that the boogeyman mask is affordable, but the evil clown mask is not. Question three. What is this? We've got in parentheses dollar sign D17 and a pound sign. Is that profanity? A reference to a dynamic array. A relative reference to cell D17? Or is it a reference to an error in cell D17? Computer G, what is the answer? The pound sign lets us know that this is a reference to a dynamic array that starts in cell D17. Question four. What is this filter instruction? Let's look at the formula. We're asking it to filter the range A5 through E80. And we want it to filter for anything in column C that's a Y equals anything in column B that's an M. What are we looking for? Y or M, but not both either Y 
are M. Both Y and M are neither Y nor M are only Y and not M. Computer G, the answer. We want both Y and M are neither Y nor M. I've explained that in videos. I want both or I want neither. That is what the equals operator does for us. Question five. Can a dynamic array be added to a table or reference a table? There's two questions here. No, it cannot be added to a table, but it can reference a table. Yes, it can be added to a table, but no, it cannot reference a table. Hell no, it can't do either one of those. Or, yes, it can be added to a table, and yes, it can reference a table. What do you think? Computer G, the answer. No, it cannot be added to a table, but yes, it can reference a table. Let's take a peek at that. This cell K3 does reference this purple table. Let's check that out. All right, you see that it's referencing that table, but what if I want to put this dynamic array into a table? Here we go, format as table. Let's make it this nice green, does not have headers spill error let's try something else let's try to grab the whole thing has headers spill error question six which of these can be used as operators in a filter formula the asterisk double equal sign minus forward slash are divided by Percent sign equals less than plus not equal to. Computer G, what is the answer? Double equal sign percentage and divided by no, they don't work. But I've done videos to show you how those other operators work. Go check those out. So how did you do? If you got five or six right, I salute you. Job well done, and thank you for helping us get this world's data clean. If you got three or four right, you're on the path. You're a true warrior apprentice. I've put together a playlist where you can check out other people's dynamic array videos. Faraz G, Layla Garani, Mr. Excel. Excel is fun. Check those videos out. Watch them daily, study them, write the things down. And also, see if you have too much salt in your diet. That, that might be where you're struggling. If you got zero, one, or two right, you got to pray, but don't give up. You got heart because you stayed all the way through the end. So you watch that playlist and pray hard and you'll get there. That wraps up this edition of Let's Whoop Crap Data. But always remember this sport of cleansing data is brutal the consequences real and crap data is heartless be safe be tough be smart